Hi, this is Jason Kickline, uh, developer of OnSong, and today I wanted to show you uh, what we're working on as far as OnSong for the iPhone. Um, we had always intended to have OnSong work on both the iPhone and the iPad. Um, however, now with the iPhone 4's capabilities, we have even uh, more of a, a decent uh, usability behind OnSong because of the high resolution display and also because of some other features which I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm going to start OnSong. And of course the layout is very similar to what you, you know in the iPad version. Uh, the only difference is that all the navigation is done on one screen and then the music is displayed on the, the screen, full screen. So <clears throat> if I uh, select one of the songs such as Indescribable, you can see it here. Um, and it's obviously very small. Um, you can change the display characteristics. Uh, you can change, uh, you know, export, all that stuff that, that you're used to on the iPad is available. Um, but because it's not very usable at the current size, and you have to see how far we need to, to zoom in to see anything, um, you can turn it sideways and it gives you a little bit more that you can see, but still, just not enough for a performance. Uh, so what we did is use the external video display adapter that you have available to you on the iPad. Uh, we're bringing this to version 1.4. Uh, for iPad and also for iPhone. And so when we plug this in, it'll automatically begin to power the monitor above. And so some of you might have, um, you know, extra 17 inch monitors uh, laying around because you upgrade your monitor. Uh, you can easily plug that in. It's a simple VGA monitor. Um, and here we see a uh, full screen, uh, a sheet of music. And so as we scroll through the music, it's going to automatically scroll what's on the monitor. Uh, if I go to the next song, it'll automatically flip to the next song and back again. So it's really what you would want to see as a musician. Anything that, any formatting that we have set up here, I can change some of the formatting options. For instance, the, the highlight color, if you want to bold the, the chords, all that is available uh, and happens automatically. And of course, if we, we're not interested in doing, um, this is what I call stage monitor mode, uh, it's what you want to want to see as a musician, you could also uh, view it as, um, as a projector. So that's kind of a nice feature as well um, for lyric projection like this. You can also choose images instead of, um, you know, just a, a straight color background with a gradient and so forth. Change the font size. Uh, change the shadow density. Um, everything that you saw on the iPad demo is available in the iPhone version. Um, and of course, you can just tap to um, to get different uh, lyrics to show on the screen. So that's what's coming in iPhone uh, for OnSong for iPhone version 4. Um, it will work on any iOS 4 device, uh, so it will work on your 3GS and 3G. However, uh, some of what uh, OnSong does is a little uh, processor intensive, so it's best to be used on a 3GS or iPhone 4. Thanks for your time.